there is something happening, um, something I've warned about many times, and it's happening, and I, I'm not exactly sure what to say other than it has me worried, so I'm just going to lay it out for you. I realize the Russia-Ukraine thing has gone on a long time. It doesn't capture the imagination anymore. People don't talk about it anymore. It just it, it, it's That story came and it went and it faded, but it's still happening. And it's a terrible, terrible conflict. It's a drone war. It's an artillery war. And men are dying in the hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of men are gone. Now, it's freaking terrible. Generations wiped out. And obviously, this is a regional thing that is, there's a ton of history there between Ukraine and Russia, obviously. Well, Russia invaded Ukraine. Russia grabbed some territory in Ukraine, the territory they wanted, and they've been holding it. America has publicly been sending munitions over there. F-16s. So we've been, we've been sending some pretty good equipment their way, and we haven't been doing it secretly as proxy wars have previously been fought because we are now run by the dumbest, most depraved, craven losers on the planet, Republican and Democrat both. We now brag about the people we're killing with our proxy wars. Russia is the largest nuclear power on the planet. Ukraine has taken these weapons we have given them and they have launched a surprise offensive into Russia. There are Ukrainian army units currently fighting within the borders of Russia. Now, I'm not exactly rooting for Russia at all. Honestly, I'm not really rooting for anybody. I don't give a crap about Ukraine and I don't give a crap about Russia. Ukraine is a horrifically corrupt black market state. Russia is a horrifically corrupt, evil, tyrannical place. I don't really care for either of them. So my concern is neither country. My concern is America, Americans. My concern is the very idea of war. We have so armed the Ukrainians, they now have violated Russian territory in the same way Russia violated theirs. You know, I don't actually blame the Ukrainians for playing some offense. They've been playing defense for long enough. What I am very concerned about is a Russian response. Russia has publicly declared many, many times that any violation of Russian territory, Russian sovereignty, any crossing of the borders into Russia will be met with a nuclear response. Now, I hope this is bluster. There's always a lot of bluster in war. Always is. You know, we're, we'll never surrender. And two weeks later, they're surrendering. There's always a lot of that in war. So you have to allow for that. Are these empty Russian threats? But let's just walk through this, and then we'll move on. I want to get to some other things. Let's just walk through this. What if Russia drops a nuclear weapon on the Ukra Ukrainians? Remember, do remember, advancements in nuclear technology, they kind of go the opposite way you'd think. Like when you hear a country has developed a new nuclear weapon, I don't know about you, I instinctively think to myself, wow, it must be huge! Clearly, that's a bigger one, right? Well, we already have, they already have gigantic nation-ending weapons that are that size. The advancements in nuclear technology goes the other way. They're trying to make smaller ones, more portable ones. So instead of an intercontinental ballistic missile that you need to deliver this massive weapon, what if you could throw it in a duffel bag? What if you could drop it out of one of those Piper, Club, Piper Cub planes I was discussing earlier? What if you could make it small, portable, more difficult to detect? That's where the advancements in nuclear weapons have come from, and Russia has advanced as fast or faster than anyone else. So no, I don't think they're going to drop some mega hydrogen bomb and completely vaporize the eastern portion of Russia, but what if... What if we wake up tomorrow morning and there's been a mini mushroom cloud 
And I'm not even going to discuss the loss of Ukrainian lives. I don't mean to sound cold. That is not really my concern at all. How does the world react if Russia uses a nuclear weapon against the Ukrainians? By the letter of the law, nothing should really change because Ukraine is not part of NATO, which of course makes NATO's involvement in this, and and obviously ours, I'm making us part of that, it makes our involvement of this completely insane. Ukraine is not protected by NATO because they're not part of NATO. They're not allowed to join NATO because they border Russia, and Russia would never let a NATO country border it. No country would allow that. Anyway, what does NATO do if Russia sets off a nuclear weapon? And that brings me back to this little thing. Who is in charge of the United States military right now? You want to hear something insane? This is, this is, this is legit. So it's just, you ready for this? You know that we sent a carrier group over to the Middle East because of Iran. There are all kinds of rumors Iran's going to attack this week, any day now. They've been saying that for days. Who knows? But there are rumors. And so we sent a carrier group over to the Middle East. You ready for a bomb? No one knows who sent it. No one knows who gave the order for a freaking carrier group to go to the Middle East. It certainly wasn't Joe Biden. Joe Biden has disappeared from public life. You know how we used to make fun of him because he wouldn't have anything on his schedule or he'd have very few things on his schedule? That schedule... It's disappeared. He's not even pretending anymore. He's on vacation. He's at the beach every day. He's not campaigning. He's not even pretending to be president of the United States of America. So who gave the order? Dome? They're trying to do what they did with woke, with DEI, and say that it is somehow a bad thing to care about and talk about diversity and equity and inclusion. Well, on the environmental justice point, it's all. You think this woman is commanding the United States military right now? About equity, and here's the here's I'll simplify what this means. Equity is this: we have a carrier group heading to the Middle East, and no one knows who sent it. Ukraine has officially invaded Russia, crossed the border. There are threats of a nuclear weapon, and the United States of America doesn't even have a commander-in-chief doesn't even have a commander-in-chief that is something but Lindsay Lindsay's excited about it he hasn't been this fired up since he watched thunder from down under what I think about curse bold brilliant beautiful keep it up Putin started this kick his ass (laughs) bottom line is to the administration I appreciate your support let these people fight Give them weapons they need to win a war they can't afford to lose. When it comes to F-16s, way too long. They're here. Let's use them. Oh, a war with the potential for millions of people to die. Lindsay has rarely been that excited. 